Amazon, search beard oil, sort lowest price first. You might find something that looks like this. Arlo's beard oil, 99% natural. This one is the pro growth scent or type of oil. They have several different types or scents that you can get out there, but I'm all about growing my beard. The price of this currently as of filming is $5.69 on Amazon, but it's for 2.5 ounces, bringing the price per ounce to $2.28 shipped to your house for free as long as you have Amazon Prime. Now, when we look at the market average for quality beard oil, it is $15 an ounce. This is $2.28. And even with everything we look at on this channel, it's far more common to find the average and above as it is to find something that is below. So this is shocking. Either it is just too good to be true and something else is going on there, or maybe it's just a hidden gem that's out there. So I was asked to review this, so I had this sent out to me. I've been trying it for the last couple of weeks, on and off, not consecutively, but mainly at nighttime, mainly on weekends when I don't have anything going, I'm not filming or going out that day. I've been giving it a full run to see what it does, mainly because it doesn't smell terrible. I'll talk about that in a little bit here. And I thought the bottle looked pretty cool. This caught my attention here. It's very very different. I'm all about standing out, being unique, being original. This is a plastic bottle. Some people are completely against plastic bottles and oil. I'm not one of them. As long as it's a sturdy, well-made plastic, it should be fine. And I love the sriracha top. It's one of my favorite dispensing methods, whether it's for a liquid butter, a conditioner, a wash, uh, my condiments for food. I just love the sriracha top. So, I'm gonna give this the full rundown, break it down from you guys to ingredients, to how it worked, and then let you know if this is something that if you're on a budget you should look for or not, because I have no problem doing that. I've had a couple videos recently where I was like, hey, this is a great budget option for you, but I've also broke it down and said, hey, this is garbage, don't waste your $2.28 an ounce, we'll see where it falls. By the way, how are you guys doing? How rude of me. I hope you're doing pretty well. If not, my contact information is in the description. Please reach out anytime. I am more than happy to respond to every email, every Instagram message, especially if you just need someone to listen to or some perspective or advice. You matter. You are important. Everybody has a bad day. And if you need somebody, I would be more than happy to be that person. And if you don't know me, my name is Dan C. Bearded. I love beard stuff. I love this channel. I love interacting with you guys. And if you like the feel of this video or this channel at all, consider supporting by subscribing that's a tongue twister supporting by subscribing and hitting the like button sharing it anything you can do to grow this channel i would greatly appreciate and i promise i will always be here for you guys so let's jump right into this and see what's going on with this company so arlos i reached out and asked for specific information from them and i didn't get anything their website does not have any information about the company at all the box doesn't really give us much we know that they sell on amazon they have top-notch packaging but what i can tell you is it says made in USA. Okay. And I can also tell you that it says distributed by Fisk Industries, which is out of New York. Now, normally that type of language would lead you to believe that there is a private label going on. That means one company makes the product and then another company usually packages it, labels it, and then sells it. Now, I do not know any specifics with this one. I could not get an answer to my question. So I cannot say foolproof that this is private label or something's going on. So hopefully they'll reach out. I can update you guys in the future. But that's what we know for right now, other than the ridiculously low price that they're selling these on Amazon. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at the ingredients on this specific product right here, because that's usually where these things start to fall apart. Our first ingredient is soybean oil. Now this is a highly controversial oil in the men's care world. I am working on a video right now. There's one sticking point that has varying uh, research, varying opinions on it, and I just wanna make sure that I get it right. So stay tuned and look out for that one. The next one is canola oil. Now we see that often in cooking, but we don't usually see it in beard care, but there is a crossover in those two worlds. I use a, a, a Blackstone grill. That's what I like to do, the griddle grill. I use grapeseed 
linseed oil to grill. That's what this is. You can also use olive oil, which is in here too. So that's not super uncommon or unprecedented to have those ingredients in there. The third ingredient is fragrance, which is shocking because normally you find fragrance at the bottom of the list because legally in the USA, you have to list by potency. Now, the only time where that can be a little bit different is if all of the rest of the ingredients are of equal potency, you can put them in any order because they're equal. That still would be pretty surprising that we have as much fragrance as we do sweet almond oil or castor oil, which they have listed in here. But regardless, let me go on. I said those ones there. We also have uh, tocopherol, which is vitamin E. And then we have just several different oils in here. We have olive, castor, sweet almond, sunflower. And then we start to get into some fruit extracts or some different fruits in here that they have, uh, including nettle extract would be another one. We have melon fruit extract. And then the very last ingredient is BHT. Now you may not know what that is. Essentially it's a preservative. Now when you're looking at this, traditionally oils do not need preservative, especially in the men's cosmetic world. Now why would there be a preservative in this? There's no water ingredients. Well, there kind of is. There is a fruit extract. Now, fruit extract is something that would require a preservative, and they have it in here. Now, to give you guys my full thought and opinion on that, I don't believe that fruit extracts that require preservatives are worth it to have in beard oil. There are better options you can go to keep the preservatives out there. And I'm not against preservatives at all. I'm the guy that made the video that said, if you have water-based products, you better have a preservative in there. So... I just don't think that they belong in oil. Oil is something that should not have the silicones, that should not have the preservatives in here. If it does, I would look at those other ingredients that are requiring it and maybe look to change those up and switch it. But if it works and it's healthy, none of those matter. Would I be concerned with the health of your beard because of BHT? No, I'm not. I just don't think it's optimal for what it, <coughs> what it needs to do. Excuse me, got a little something in my throat there. <laughs> now, with this, it is saying that it promotes growth. Is there anything in those ingredients where I'm like, yes, that has big claims about having growth? Not really. There are some that maybe scratch the curiosity surface a little bit, but there's nothing in here that would tell me, whoa, this is a growth oil. If you put this on your face, your beard's gonna grow faster, you're gonna grow hair where it doesn't belong. To me, that's just a little bit of marketing and is uh, probably a little bit misleading in my eyes and in my opinion, but there are many companies that do that. So how does this work? I've tried it several times and usually the calling card of a cheap oil is that it leaves your beard and anything else that's come in contact with it feeling greasy or almost like there's a film, a layer on afterwards. And this one does exactly that. Again, I have no problem saying when there's a bargain thing, I've talked about oils from Target that were like $4 that were amazing. It was great. This not so much. My beard was left greasy. My hands did have a film on them. That's why I ended up kind of using it for nighttime, but I was able to use it several times because the scent is kind of pleasant. It smells like a melon. I had Sam smell it. She said kind of like a mix between oranges and melons. So not a bad scent in here at all, but it just didn't seem like it was properly nourishing, properly absorbing into my skin and into my hair, just kind of leaving me like a greasy mess. All right, I'm gonna come back to you guys to wrap it up for a conclusion. So is it the deal of the century, something that every beersman at a budget should have in their arsenal? No, I would advise you to save those $2.28 an ounce just because I don't think that this is a quality product for my beard at least. Who knows, maybe some of you have tried this out there and it works really well for you. I have seen some other reviews online, but I do know the company sent it out. Oftentimes it's smaller reviewers and there's nothing wrong with that. Do your thing, boo boo, tear it up. But oftentimes they will feel like, hey, I gotta say something nice. This big company reached out to me. I don't wanna slam them. For me, I don't mind saying, no, this did not work for me. It was not quality. I don't think that the company is bad intentions. I don't think it's going to kill your beard or anything like that. It just left it feeling greasy. It left it smelling good, but it left it not feeling healthy the next morning or feeling like it had any real purpose. So this is not a product that I would recommend to you guys, but I would like to ask, has any of you out there tried this exact one, the Pro Growth or any of their other ones? What are your unfiltered, uncensored experiences and answers down below in the comments so we can learn from you guys as a collective? Maybe I'm an outsider, who knows? My beard reacts different to some things than other people, so I'm excited to hear from you guys. Other than that, are there any other bargain beard oils out there that
there that you want me to check out, leave it down in the comment below. I'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll test it out and make a video in the future. So thank you guys as always for watching today. Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive. Thank <laughs> you.